morning, guys. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Scobie Books out of the UK. I am going to show you today how we can turn this hanging basket. It doesn't need to be hanging. I just prefer a hanging basket. Into something to either hang your plants in or you can use it for storage which is also a great idea. So we'll need our basket. Let me put this up on the screen. And if you're going to use this for a plant you're going to need a liner and you're also going to need a sealer. Any top coat that you have is fine. There are products that are called sealers specifically and you can use those. But if you have a spray, a clear spray top coat, you can also use that around the inside. The whole idea is we want to keep this from getting wet. You're also going to need an artist's brush. By artist's brush I just mean these smaller brushes as opposed to sponge brushes. A pointed one is fine and this is a chip brush. You can use one or two of these. We'll need one to apply the decoupage glue and one to apply our top coat. Decoupage glue, napkins, top coat, and this is saran wrap, plastic wrap. It's just fine if you get it from the dollar store or the bargain brand in the supermarket. It actually works great. And a nail file, which I did not include on the list, I apologize. And nail files work great for getting into smaller areas or going over the edges to file, which is what we're using this for. If you have a sanding block or piece of sandpaper, you can use that too. These just happen to be very easy to use, flexible, and a very heavy grit. I try to find the ones that say they're for acrylic nails. Those have the toughest grit. We'll also need a little shallow dish or cup of water. And the first thing we'll want to do is separate our napkin. Then we're going to take our artist's brush, which is just one of these. And I don't want any hard edges, so I'm going to dip my brush into the water and go around the edges. I figured out I'm going to need about eight of these panels to go around my basket. I'm going to go through all eight panels and remove the edges this way. Since these napkins are so thin and sheer, this should dry pretty quickly, but just put them aside in a very dry area to make sure those edges are dry before we start to work with them. Be careful not to use too much water on your brush like I did right here, because I'm trying to keep this word floor on here. You may not have words, but if you've got images that you don't want to lose, you just want to be careful not to add too much water and if you're working with something like this where you do want to keep an image and it's wet just press down with one finger over the image and then pull away. I'm just going to pour a little bit of decoupage glue onto this plate. Now while your napkins are drying, if you are going to use this basket to hang a plant, just to protect it from any of the moisture uh, or sometimes even things that come off of the plant, you want to spray the whole inside now and let it dry. And a top coat works just fine. And the best part about a spray is that it normally gets into these grooves that you find in a basket a lot easier. I think you would also want to do two coats just because the second coat will get 
anywhere where you may have missed the first time. If you're not using this to put a plant in, you can skip this step and we'll just go on to this next part. Because we're working in all of these grooves, we're going to want to use a chip brush. These are available in craft stores and hardware stores. They're very cheap. It's not a good brush. You don't want a good brush. And we're just going to work in a little section at a time. But before we even put our napkin down, we want to take a piece of the plastic wrap or the saran wrap and just pull a sheet that's about, oh, I guess about eight or nine inches or a foot long because we want to make it long enough just to cover the napkin piece. You want to put this aside for a moment. Take your decoupage glue and only work in a small section where you're going to place the napkin panel. I'm going to place the napkin where we would like it over that glue. Careful as you press down your napkin. Then you want to take that piece of saran wrap, place it over the napkin. I'm on a very odd angle here. And pull it so that the saran wrap is pressing the napkin down. So you're pulling it and it's causing the napkin to sink right into the basket. And then you can take your fingers, just make sure the saran wrap is still on here, and secure all of the edges of the napkin down. We're going to repeat that process all the way around the napkin, but make sure you remove the saran wrap and throw it away. Don't use it again. Don't worry about this for right now. We can leave that there. And we're just going to repeat those exact steps all the way around the basket. So again, tear a brand new sheet of saran wrap. We're going to line the panel up. I am using a lot of decoupage glue because I want it to get into all of those grooves. So I'm using a very thick amount. Then I'm going to take my next panel. I'm going to overlap it a little bit over here because so I want to cover the edge of the other napkin. Again, I'm going to just press it down a little bit. Then I'm going to take my saran wrap. I am going to go around the rest of my basket putting the panels on the same way. If you overlap a little too much and you're about to cover up some of the pattern, you can just press that part down with your saran wrap where your decoupage glue is. Let it dry a little bit without pushing this excess down. Just leave it alone. And what I'm going to do is when I'm finished with the whole basket and it's dry, I'm going to come back and with the artist's brush again, I'm just going to draw a line. I'll show you when I do it. I'm just going to draw a line and pull this away. We don't want to work on anything until this is completely dry. So I'll be right back and you can set yours aside to dry as well. Just brought the basket in from the outside. It dried pretty quickly. And here's where I wanted to, again, we're going to take our artist's brush, just dip it in a little bit of water. And any of these areas that you had that overlapped, you can just pull away now. 
So I have a few of these. I'll go around the basket and remove them. file comes in perfectly because you can just go right along the edge with the file and look how it just makes a nice clean edge and pulls that away. So you want to go around the whole base of your basket, take that away. This is dry now and you do not have to do this. I tend to put my projects in the oven a lot. As long as there's no plastic or anything that can melt, I will put a damp decoupage project in the oven that's a cold oven and I'll set it to 170 degrees and when it dings to let when the oven dings to let me know it's reached 170, I turn the oven off and I just leave this in there and I do that for a couple of reasons. One is because Mod Podge hardens when you put it in the oven. This mason jar was a clear jar, but you can use food coloring. There's videos all over YouTube for this. And Mod Podge, pour it inside and bake the Mod Podge and it gets nice and hard. And I don't know if this looks as pretty on the video as it does on here, but it looks like stained glass. The oven actually hardens the Mod Podge, which we want to do for this project. The napkin's very fine. You want to make sure everything is dry before you add the next coat of Mod Podge. So now I'm going to cover the whole project in Mod Podge. And you still want to be careful because there are some sections of the napkin that did not touch the basket and they could be very delicate and the brush could pierce them and go through. This is dry now and I'm going to take my top coat. You may want to use a spray. Just be careful, if you're like me, I'm a little bit heavy handed. And when I spray, I sometimes cause drips and runs on my project. So I'm going to use a flat varnish over this and let it dry and then we'll be all done. There's our completed project. As always, thank you so much for subscribing. Hope you're all well, and I'll see you next week, guys. Bye-bye.